Um, mm. I should be making a death saving throw. Yes, you. you do. Yes, you do. <laughs> Don't take oh, that from me. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. You do. I'm sorry. I was like, oh, this is the one thing I've never had to do as a DM before. So I'm like, oh, God, I'm facing death head on right now. <laughs> and Here we I've... go. Yep. Second, do you want second. me to roll it on? Uh, yes, uh, if you could roll the d20 on for everybody yeah. to see. Uh. <laughs> That's two! Two fails! Oh, whoa, what? It's a good hey. thing we got the bird coming up. Hey guys, it's, it's okay. Bird. I got it. I got okay. it. Okay. She is basically right between the bard Hello. and the paladin. So it's me. <laughs> you could just oh. see the guys at the festival, right? Like at least we know there's a, oh. there's a good handful of clerics around. And that is karma coming back for all these good fucking yeah, rolls. All of your twenties <laughs> have now come back to. Me. Oh no! Go so back I to the top of the round. <laughs> I was promised a fungin. <laughs> oh, never got that. It wasn't. It really wasn't. <laughs> it's fun. not fun. It's not fun. It's not fun. Zero stars on hell. to go to a fungin. <laughs> the reviews say <laughs> otherwise. I swear you won't get tetanus now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. <laughs> Talk about this later. I was gonna do something else, but considering the severity of the situation, she will think not. Um, she goes, Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, big ugly, it's not Halloween, you know. And she's <laughs> gonna shoot at his head. <laughs> Halloween exists in this world, apparently. <laughs> sure, sure. Well, it does now. Well, in Fay a ween. <laughs> Yeah. They, only they, in Terratalia. Only in Fay a ween. There we go. Fay a ween. Is it? Fay a ween. Following? Funnowing. It's not funnowing. Follow. Fail. I don't know. <laughs> funnowing so, is a completely moving different thing. Moving on. <laughs> 16. The 16 hit. Uh, on um, Big Ugly? Yes. Uh, yes. 16 hits. <laughs> advantage advantage because of fairy fire still, though, right? Yeah. I mean, I it hits. Oh. So, yeah. Uh, let's roll that damage. 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 And plus that. I'm just doing. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. All right, cool. Yeah, oh, that's, that's 14. An All Go right. Ahead. Yeah, it, it's it's looking it's looking it's it's getting weaker for sure. All right. Not fast enough. Sorry. I'm done. <laughs> uh, Andy. All right. Uh, well, um, looking at. Um, uh, Arlen on the ground. I'm going to change what I was going to do, and I'm going to um, again. I'm going to strum a healing um, arpeggio on my lyre. And, uh, <laughs> no, just a, just a healing arpeggio. <laughs> oh, I was thinking yeah, um, staccato. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, um, and then that um, that pink glittery whispery cotton candy energy um, shoots over to Arlen uh, and uh, so and I'll <laughs> Jazz fluted her back to life <laughs> yeah Jazz fluted her back to life uh, yeah so at second level yep 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 end points of and you are back up to consciousness yep yep um, all right um I just wish I could get him away from you, but I can't do that. Um, 
So uh, with my bonus or with my action, um, I'm going to cast. Um, On, you cast yeah. healing word. Yeah, I'm gonna cast. So you can attack, but you can attack. You can do um, a cantrip. Okay. Because that's a bonus action. Right. Gotcha. So with my action. I'm gonna. Um, okay. Just double checking. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna try firebolt again. Okay. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Twenty-one hits. And actually, I'm gonna roll with advantage because. I can maybe I'll court. Oh, I'm gonna not <laughs> Why? Why press your luck? Why, why tempt no, fate? No, now you you also have. Now it's not the time. Inspiration too. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I mean, third it's, it's one d10. These and I hit, so it's fine. Man, uh, I rolled a natural one with advantage. All right, all right, all right. Five, five, five points of fire damage. All right. Um, and then I, you know, stuck, stuck back down. It is yep. now more in pain. All right, what else? Is there anything else? I think you're... Unless you want to move. Nope, that's all I got. All right, Finn. Okay, I'm going to uh, to hack away at the zombie that's directly in front of me. Fantastic. Shouldn't be, shouldn't be hard. Just it, it, it hits either way. So I'm telling you, unless you scored, yeah, that oh, I was hoping for the crit. both okay. hit, both yeah. hit. <laughs> We're fishing for crits, okay? <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. Fish for that crit. <laughs> Eleven plus the one d four, so fifteen. How do you destroy this zombie? Once again, just square across, lopping the head off, and uh, once again trying to soccer kick it. This time, I'm going to try to kick it in the direction of the. Uh, the bigger guy. Uh, just uh, like flavor. Because why not? Uh, and it lops the head off, and I feel like you kind of take a golf swing too with the, with the sword, just fling, chip it right into the stage. Uh, so that one is gone. Fant Marin goes, fantastic. no way, you have two already? Shit. <laughs> uh, I'm going to charge through the corpse to get right up next to the big boy. Great. Oh, Waka. All right, seeing that the big guy took down Arlen, I just look right at it and I go, okay, time to send you back home, motherfucker. And I aim with go to sleep, and I take a shot, and I'm going to use my second at a marksman to use, the, to use my, to do another violent shot Ooh. with just one grit point. So Ooh. I still have three. I'm not going to use two because that puts the... The miss the misfire score up. So yes, it does. <laughs> all right, uh, two shots still with advantage. Okay, so it's definitely going to hit with a twenty six. Let's see. Oh if I get that yes. Hit. Yeah, there we go. So here's the first damage. Ah, four. Dang. And here's the second one. All right, that's twelve. Yes, that's twelve damage. It is really looking bad. Ah. And with that, I note that I only have one left in the chamber, so I take my bonus action and I quickly reload five bullets into go to sleep, slam the chamber shut, and keep it trained on it. And that ends my turn. Right. Um, Luna, the zombie in front of you, once again, is just going to keep going to attack you. Goes for its bite again. Misses. Miss. Yep. Decides to go for a claw with a 17. Uh, 17 hits. Goes for the other claw for 23. So you're that gonna get, hits. um... That first attack is 3 points, and then the, the second one is crit, uh, amount. So that's 5, so that's 8 total. 8 total points. Of flash. Okay. Right. Well, that's not great. Five HP. Okay. Oh, yeah. you are bloodied and disgusting right now. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, but you that's get a turn. chance to fight back. 
Yep. Um, so I'm actually going to. I have my short. Uh, my short staff, right? With yes. Me? Um, yeah. Uh, well, no. I'm gonna do another flurry of blows. Okay. Okay. So uh, hit. Shish. Oh. Ten hits. Okay. And. One d four plus one. The zombies forgot their armor today. <laughs> <laughs> Three damage. Um, and right. I get to shoot. Oh, it doesn't really matter. We haven't seen. But uh, fire damage, if it matters. Uh, yes, of course. Yeah. Um, all right. How do you give this killing blow to this uh, bloodied face zombie? Um, so, with my dragon claw illusion, what? I'm. I'm just gonna <laughs> take all three, all three together, and just stab them in the throat. Nice. Like, yeah. As you grip underneath the jaw, where the blood has been yeah. pouring out, now oh. its own dark, viscous liquid of blood comes pouring out of its mouth and throat as you rip its yeah. lower jaw off, and it goes <laughs> down. Fantastic. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look at the jaw, and like rub it off on my cloak, and then put it in my like my little pouch. <laughs> Zip it up. Well, tie it up. Um, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, that's awesome. <laughs> you got a little bit of a twisted <laughs> that side to you. Bag uh, the smell. <laughs> it is going oh, to. Uh, wait, 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 wait! Before, before, I'm just oh, yeah. gonna like create water really quick and splash it. <laughs> or... <laughs> that's gonna make the. <laughs> No, not in the bag. I'm taking it out of the bag. Splash no, like, it off. No, that's gonna make it any better. Just have a wet jaw, and you're in a bag. <laughs> no, I, I dry it off. I'm like robe. Uh, okay. <laughs> that's really more of an action than a than a yeah. action. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna say that's just we'll we'll hold that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, so uh, oh, weird. It is the 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 shrouded, smoky black. Um, zombie that is still in front of Arlen, it's going to just attack you again. Um, With advantage, because I'm prone. Yeah. Go for it. I tried to get its attention. I'm sorry. 25. <laughs> of course, yes. Naturally, that hits. Oh, boy. My is actually 74. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um... So that's the first one, which we're gonna get. You're gonna get six bludgeoning. Oh boy. And oh, and si and six necrotic. Uh, there so you're well. down again. Oh, bye. <laughs> okay. It's not even gonna have to take its second uh, attack, but it is going to. I mean, technically, it can, because then can. that'll be a failed death saving throw. That's right. It, that's that's right. And I'd be a uh. fool to not. Do that, so it will take its second attack because it's 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 a disgusting, mindless, gross oh, thing. Um, yep. You know, I didn't want to out of mercy, but to be fair, I have to think from that perspective of the undead creature with a seventeen. It's going to obviously hit you again and take. It's, it's an auto crit. Yeah, it's an it's an auto crit. So forget yep. what that one that was. Yeah, that's an auto crit. So that's eleven damage. One death save. That's and one then death save twelve no, necrotic. It's, it's I'm done. I'm dead. Yeah. Dead. Dead. Um. Wait, you're dead. 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 I thought it was only two. No, because yeah. his. Yeah. Ah shit. No. So, and it's as it, it what you all see it dive its hands now into the regularly seen body and slash down as you just your eyes go white pure and your body collapses to the ground as you are no more
there the were dead, other dead, clerics dead, dead. around we can assume that perhaps there were higher level clerics even if... around <laughs> but that's you gotta make a, you gotta make like, a decision uh, it's illegal what do you mean make a decision no 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 the uh, mary oh sorry mary I see. sorry apologies no time to contemplate what just happened i mean i know I, there's nothing i can i can't heal her so i'm just gonna shoot at it in yeah. pure rage um not like i'm a barbarian or anything so i'm just gonna do what i can do metaphorical <laughs> rage metaphorical rage yes first 17 hits all right i'm fishing for that crit i don't right. care <laughs> uh um, a really good story crit oh so, oh, so close. close so close um that's all right that's all right Okay, I'm I am just appalled at what just happened. So yeah. Oh, oh but still, that that hunter's mark came clutch. So that's still ten through the skull of this thing. It's your final arrow. Take down this enemy. Wait, what? How does how do you how do you defeat? Oh. I see. I didn't see. Um, Should have used the last one. Maring is just gonna watch this happen and just kind of have, like, you know, that unintelligible, like, scream that it's not really a word or anything. Just wanting to say no, but it just comes out as a frustrated, like, scream as she pulls back that bow further than she's ever pulled back and just aims it directly true through the skull of this thing that final arrow just enough piercing through the uh, the head as it finally cannot bear any more its body falling piece by piece by piece and then dissipating into ash as then one by one each of the other zombies deteriorate in a black smoke of crimson and dark shadow disappearing into the air we are out of initiative now everything has been defeated I immediately uh, try to cast Healing Word. As soon as I'm not even realizing, I'm, I, I just same, cast. I shout. Same, I sorry. But. I shout behind us to the area where, like, I guess the rest of the people were, and I go, "Do we have a master cleric or something? Somebody with a <sighs> yeah, like, Luna, Luna streams cleric over uh, and over." I drop my great sword and just kneel down next to her, and even though knowing that it's probably right at the back end do lay on hands and just try to sink all 15 points of health of lay on hands that I have just sinking it all straight into her and um, essentially the the paladin version of uh, CPR. of compressions <laughs> Maring is hopping like leaps off and hops over and casts Goodberry and just shoves him in his <laughs> mouth <laughs> like you better fucking wake up like you if she does, she's gonna be choking. <laughs> like, she's like, well, she was gonna wake up, but actually, you just choked her to death. She woke up and then choked him. and died. Like, you know, all right, all right, all right. squeezing the juice into her mouth, you know. So, here's what happens. All of you, immediately after the dust is settled, rush over to the fallen down deceased body of Arlen. Despite any effort by magical means to try and revive her, not really realizing that she is not unconscious, but she is completely dead. No effect comes. You scream out for cleric assistance. Guards who have cleared the area and have been making sure that nothing else were to come in and letting you handle what needed to be handled, while the chaos around outside of the theater was being cleared out. They quickly go to grab a cleric team. 
few minutes of, pa of passing. And eventually, with a, um, a stretcher, you know, with a cloth between the two uh, wooden um, poles, they rush over and they ask you all just to clear, give them space as it takes a couple of, of them to actually have the effort to move a Furwald's body onto this stretcher. Using all their might, they carry up, and they say, we are going to rush her to our tent. We don't know if there's much we can do. And they are out. The guard, the two guards sit with you, as they, as the others, make sure that no one coming in and they search the rest of the air of the staging area to make sure that all is clear and now it is just Luna Andy Finn marrying and Awaka This is not me retching, but it's me thinking I had an extra die left and I could have used it. <sighs> yeah, I should have made it run away. And I, I thought that I thought the two you guys had her, that's why I went to try to take out the underlings. I was I was a little busy pumping him full of bullets. <sighs> he just left me alone. I really thought he was going to keep going after me. Every one of my arrows hit. I... Of course he'd go after the prone one. He's a fucking animal. <sighs> Luna is just sobbing. Can't get words out. <sighs> Awaka just sits down on the bench. So why I didn't want to adventure. She saved me from myself, but she saved me. I do anything. Well, so much for dreams, right? Throwing like a bit of rock on the ground. Turning more into a nightmare, it seems. What was that? I don't know. It was a being inside of them, it seemed. The smoke controlling them. I've seen undead before, but I've never seen one like that. And they usually don't just poof out of existence like that either. Nor do they take yeah. control of the corpses of seemingly alive bandits that we saw not 24 hours ago. Right. This is different. We need... Yeah information DM I have a weird question um, when the thing reached into marrying and pump necrotic energy into her not like she's ever felt necrotic energy before but what exactly did she feel when that happened it feels old it feels like this strange feeling of when something is so cold it almost feels like a stinging heat where your nerves in your body can't tell the difference between the pain factors because they've been numbed and a part of it in your shoulder all, like the parts that were attacked only now start to have a bit of feeling again it, it's it's like the blood got cut off and the circulation now is starting to flow through that part of your body and you get the tingling sensation of knowing that it's going to be reactive uh, to your to your touch again or to anything that is touching you as really if quick. a piece of life had been ripped away from you really quickly as we're sitting here I'm going to just put my head down say a quick prayer and use a divine sense to see if I could sense any other uh, that celestial fiend or undead within 60 feet just to try to feel out the area just to see if I feel any 
remnants of them or any other beings. You do this. You have a sense. You feel this strange energy from the spot that the bodies dissipated from. You've been in battle before. You've faced death. You know what it's like when the lingering sense of either a kill in battle just happens. This feels more unnatural than anything you've seen before. There's nothing else around it, but that lingering feeling is unsettling. I pull out my greatsword and just start continually railing on the ground because it's grass and things like that, right? Or is it? Yeah, it's like actual? a gravel, like uh, you know, no. natural and I outdoor just start Railing on the ground, right or uh, right at where that spot is. You're only gonna dull your fucking blade. Blades can be sharpened. <sighs> Fuck this! Just so. <laughs> And just continue to keep wailing. <sighs> Fucking digging into the ground, is striking harder and harder. The ground breaking apart at this point, despite the being packed down so tightly, so they can act as a floor. Rip, rips up from underneath it. In your rage, you have destroyed a piece of this area. It's at this time that the two guards they come in. They are accompanied by Joanna Bog. They ask you, we'd like you to come with us over to the tent. I shoulder the sidearm and I just start walking over there immediately. I follow. Before we yeah. go, before we go, I, I look at Luna. Luna, you are injured. Yes. Yes. All right. I cast healing word before we go. Thank you. Um, it's all five. All five, okay. Take too long for them to lead you over to the central first aid area. Um, before they go to Luna just wants to um, say their own kind of quick personal prayer beside uh, Arlen's body. Uh, Arlen's body has been taken away, but yeah, if you want to be at oh, the spot. Near, near, the, near the spot, then. Okay. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. And then, oh, um, follow Owaka. Can you, can you roll a religion check for me? Yes. It's a 15. You close your eyes to make a quick prayer. What was something that your old mentor tell you in regards to learning about life and death? Well, he said that sometimes the good ones and the healers get more face time with death than life and more hardships than the rest of us many of my mentors weren't able to get through to me at all but sitting Beneath Tamara's tree with Arlen, I knew that death and life are the same coin, and that one without the other is not possible. And then they start to like choke up and. 
they can't really get anything else out. And as you all end up following to that main tent with Joanna meeting you there, a white long sheet covering Arlen's body. You see several of the other envoys who have been around. There is um, Megara Levine as she is introducing herself. The one of the main clerics for the guild. Accompanying her is the wizard Halen Gorbold. Megra looks at you once they said, um, because the amount of time that we with her passing. She looked at um looks at everyone to kind of just acknowledge and um, Halen asks the other guards to leave and they close the curtain behind them so it's just all of you together even if we were legally allowed to rip it with life time unfortunately has passed However, they are taking time to think this over. Goes over to a cabinet, takes out a key, unlocks it. Pulls out a case, opens up with a very large uh, diamond. We all bore witness to what you saw and what you did and how you saved more lives than what and what could have been an utter disaster. going to take an hour it is not at all something we do often rarely at all but by your steadfast merit and your abilities that you displayed, we feel that this is at the very least what we owe you. I will need concentration. I will need time alone with Arlen here. We have a room in our guild halls for you to stay overnight as we further investigate as well. We ask that you do not speak about what is going on in here. What are you talking about? I don't see anything. I want a nod of approval. They raise a hand and gesture you to, as, and you are taken by Jolene, led out of the curtain through that tent. All of them are silent as they lead you discreetly, but at a good enough pace towards the northern end of the festival once more, but getting away from the fairgrounds where the camp, where the uh, performance was to happen and heading into the building, which is the main hall of the Wayfinders Guild.
building looks at you all. We've prepared individual rooms. We have individual rooms prepared, rather. And I know that this is, there is nothing that I can say. But what you displayed out there, all of you, it is what we fight for. leave you to what you need to do. The hall is yours for the time. If you need anything, we have members around who can whiskey. provide what you need. Plenty of whiskey. He gestures down towards the kitchen area, which is not too far. Veritable size. This place is essentially a, a keep that has been refashioned into a guild hall. There are remnants of the former um, Sylvan knights that occupied this area, but there's also portraits of all former members. There are busts of uh, notable members of the guild, envoys, names on different art pieces that they have contributed, um, and it's unfortunately quite quiet in the entire area as this building is purely occupied by you and several others. And as you quietly walk through to you, wherever you it is that you'd like to spend this time, that is where this chapter of our story is going to end. To the lost, to the forsaken, to those who are no more. Let this be the beginning of the end of the dyad once.